Welcome to Medical Marijuana Bootcamp.com. I'm Tang. I'm Jobs. And uh, today we're going to go over questions from the YouTube. US, UK, too stupid ass. Hey, I was wondering if you if you guys ever take tolerance breaks. Chubbs, do you ever take tolerance breaks? I'm going to go ahead and smoke while you're answering this question. Um, I did once, let's see, I was going to say last year, but we're in 1970. <laughs> no, no, I started, I started blazing in 1986, off and on, heavily, you know, nonstop. Um, in 2008, at the, probably the peak of my um, medical marijuana usage, uh, or marijuana usage period, um, I took nine months off. Um, I didn't plan on taking nine months off. I took a day off, it led to two days, it led to four days, it led to a month, it led to this, that, next thing you know, I'm sober for nine months. Well, why? Why did you decide to do that? Uh, tolerance. My tolerance was sky high. Uh, my plan was, like I said... How much were you smoking at that time when you decided to quit? Who knows. Okay. Uh, anywhere between, uh, on a slow day, three grams, on, a, on a, a long day or a busy day, 12, 15 grams. Um, but that's, you know, just throughout the entire day. Because um, you can pack a lot in these bombs, even these regular slides right here. Sure. You know, you can get a, a, almost a half gram in here. Oh, yeah. So, and that's all I hit is the bomb. So right, it right. goes quick. Right. Um, after the nine months, I'd say after about eight and a half months, I got bored mm -hmm. and I started getting the itch. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to try and go a year just for the hell of it. Um, made it to nine months. Uh, I still had two joints of some old train wreck that I grew. Um, the bud was probably a year old. Pre-rolled in a pill bottle in a Ziploc, so it had been sealed for that long. Yeah, still smelled a little spicy. Yeah, um, the joints were about as big as my pinky, probably a gram and a half each. Okay, I smoked one. In this room, uh, sm I smoked the entire joint like I was like my tolerance was normal. Right. Um, big mistake. What happened? I was worked. I was worked. I've Did you get the rolls? I was so high. Yeah. I was so high. So was it, I mean, was the room spinning? Oh yeah, okay. the, the entire room was spinning. Um, I actually had this gangster lean kind of off to the side. <laughs> uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air. Yeah. So as I was walking down the hallway, um, between, <laughs> between the bedroom and the front door, uh, plans changed, and I decided I just need to get to the chaise and lay down quick. <laughs> so I was literally leaning, just a mean gangster lean, like, oh, 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 oh I'm, 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 boom, made it right to the chaise and collapsed on it with my head at the foot of the chaise. So I was laying backwards on the, on the couch, and I was laying there and uh, passed out some of the most restful sleep I've had in my entire life. Um, probably four or five hours worth of sleep, woke up still high, um, but manageable. And after that, uh, um, you know, it, it didn't uh, scare me straight or anything crazy. You know, yeah. I jumped back right. You know, I was back in the game. Back in the game. And uh, yeah, what about yourself? Tolerance break last time you took uh, something similar to one? Yeah, I think it was about two years ago when I went uh, for work. At the time, I had a corporate gig, so for work I had to travel India and then the United Kingdom, and I didn't have any connects in either place, so I took a good three month break. But I remember thinking that that last week I was in Manchester in the United Kingdom and I really, really <laughs> wanted to get high. There was just, I mean, there was just no way. I, right. it, it, the, okay, there, there was one time where I, uh, I was on like that big red tour bus that the tourists go on in the UK. And, where you sit up on top? Yeah, I was at the top. <laughs> and I sat, next to, I sat next to this really cute American girl. And she, she's been there for a couple weeks, so we go back. So you know, whatever we we have dinner, we go back to her hotel, and because she's, she's got hash, yeah, of course, of course. So <laughs> I jumped. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I, I mean, this is like not only not only not only, not only like going that. back to this random hot chick American chick's hotel room. I'm, uh, she has hash too. You know. So <laughs> I can't win. Exactly, dude. So I get there, and she takes out this black, like bud-looking type deal. She's like, yeah, here it is, and I smelled it, and it didn't smell like THC, and you know, and then I'm, you know, it's, I'm trying to, it doesn't crumble. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what this stuff is, dude. And, and she packs it, and uh, Have you it, ever it, smoked hash before? It was, it was, uh, it, it, it was, I had smoked hash. It wasn't the hash I'm used to, man. Right. They they have like some other hash has two different meanings there apparently, and then there's like uh, one type of hash where it refers to kind of blacker weed, like really brown weed that uh, like dirt. Yeah, dirt weed. So oh. what she had was like dirt, dirt swag. Oh, weed. so she didn't have hash. She thought she had hash. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, and man, man, poor thing. Yeah, and of course I should have smoked it anyway, just because you know <laughs> yeah, I had yeah. to. Of you know, course, you were there. It would be rude not to. Right. Don't want to offend, dude. Biggest headache of my life, man. I mean, it was it was 
the headache was so obnoxious, I just, I, I left. <laughs> it, was, it was a deal breaker. From the hash. Yeah, from the hash. <laughs> so, I mean, I love you, UK. Um, you so, you there, when you still. came back from the States, you had two and a half months prior, except for the, the hash, you had yeah. two and a half months sober. Yeah. When you got back, did you just immediately jump right back in? I got off the plane at 8 <laughs> o'clock, and I was home by about 10.30. Oh. By about 10.45, the bong was packed. And Fat buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, of course, like, I was smart enough to save myself two bowls and, a, like, half a thing of Keef. So I, that's right. how I'm like, okay, I got, I put in half that bowl, put in a big layer of Keef. So they just boom, woo, call it a night. Call it a night. Nice. That was it. Yeah, so, honestly, we do, uh, from time to time, take tolerance breaks. Um, second half of the question says, um, does, um, do you have, does your medical condition require constant medicating? Um, I use medical marijuana to uh, help with back pain that I had from my double disectomy on my back. Um, they went in, you know, drilled a hole in my back, drilled a hole in my spine, and pretty much live in constant pain. They say, you know, on a scale of one to five, five being like, you know, the worst pain ever. Um, you know, it's like a two. It's not bad, but it's pain, you know. Yeah. Um, if I'm high, it's zero, maybe a one. Yeah. Um, so do I need it for the pain? Probably not. Does it help? Hell yeah, it helps. Do I take tolerance breaks? Not any longer. Yep. You know, those are a thing of the past. Well, for the medical marijuana boot camp, I'm Tank. I'm Chubbs. Peace. Peace.